Hello, Alan. Nice to see you. Good afternoon, Miss Letty. Nice to be here. And Annie, nice to see you too. Hello, Miss Letty. Nice to meet you too. Right. So, Annie, so you can feel a bit happy today. We're going to do a definition game. Where here we have the definitions and here we have the answer. Uh, mm -hmm. We will let Alan go first and uh, he will get, read the first definition and then look for the word which is the correct answer. So, Alan, please, could you read the first definition? Okay. What do you need if you want to ski? And the answer, of course, is snow. Right. Alan, would you be so kind now as to tell us a sentence using the word snow? Um, uh, if I had the opportunity to go skiing in the mountains, uh, I'm hoping I would select a location where there's lots of snow. And of course, where I am in the Sierra Nevada, I can be guaranteed snow at uh, certain times of the year. Right, so Sierra Nevada, for our viewers, is in the south of Spain, near to Granada. Right, Annie, the next one, please. Okay, what do we call the electricity in the sky during a thunderstorm? Oh, a lightning? Lightning. Can you give me a sentence with the word lightning? <laughs> I forgot my sentence. <laughs> yeah, uh, here when 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 falling rain sometimes also with with uh, windy and lightning sometimes or a kind of cloudy and mix all together. So lightning is what we see in the sky when there is yeah. a storm. And so where you live, uh, if you have a rainstorm, you may see some lightning. Alan, the next one. What is the name <coughs> for heavy rain with thunder and lightning? Uh, and it's, of course, thunderstorm. So uh, and yes, where we get these conditions, uh, both heavy rain and thunder and lightning, it's... Uh, it can be quite terrifying, um, certainly with animals, pets, cats and dogs. Uh, we've learned to live with it, but it, it, nevertheless, it's uh, not very pleasant. And uh, a thunderstorm comes with loud bangs and uh, either sheet lightning or fork lightning. Yes, so there's different kinds of lightning as well. Yes. So it can get quite frightening. I have known animals that uh, run and get under the bed or they sit next to the owner because they are so frightened. Right, Annie, the next one, please. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call a mixture of smoke and fog? Oh, smoke. Yes. It's called smoke. Yeah. Your sentence? So, sentence, okay. Uh, in the past, in my place, uh, it was what is it? Uh, it was a lot of smoke, uh, due to forest fire. Here. Oh. oh, right. So, uh, the smoke is a mixture of the fog or the mist with the pollution from um smoke of a factory of um cars uh, give that give out fumes and it's uh, so difficult for us to breathe because of uh, the mixture of both of them at the same time right alan the next one uh, what do you need to fly a kite and of course we need wind <laughs> if i want to take my young friend's children uh, a day out and want to fly their kites, we have to be select a day when there's lots of wind. Otherwise, the kites will just simply fall to the ground. Yeah, so we need yeah. lots of wind to give them buoyancy so that they fly high in the sky. Now, for example, when I was a child, uh, they used to make me a kite. 
because we couldn't buy one, maybe because we didn't have any money. So my uncles and my grandfather made us a kite out of pieces of uh, light wood, paper. And I used to remember we had a fantastic time. But as you said, it's very important that there is wind. Where I live now, it would be very difficult to fly a kite because there isn't enough wind normally. Very little wind, yeah. <laughs> Annie. What keeps you dry in the rain? Umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> is it like the title of the song? <laughs> Umbrella. Yes, there is a song by Rihanna <laughs> called Umbrella. Now your sentence. Okay. Sentence. Okay. Yeah, I, I will. I mean, I always take the umbrella wherever I go. <laughs> right. You always take an umbrella wherever you go. Now we have these. Uh, Alan, can you help me? Because I have forgot just at the moment. The umbrella, which is so small and it goes in your back. Uh, is it called a telescopic umbrella? Or... Oh, yes. Fold away or yeah, telescopic. You can put them in your handbag almost. Uh, they collapse into a very small <laughs> package, no more than 30 centimetres long. Yeah. Perfect. So I normally yeah, uh, take with me uh, a telescopic umbrella in my handbag because for two reasons. One, it's easier to take with me. And the other one, normally I forget the big ones. I put them in the shop and yes. then I realise, oh, I haven't got my umbrella because I've left it on the counter and uh, I don't pick it up. So I prefer not to take a big one. Right, Annie, uh, is it Alan's turn or your turn? It's Alan's turn. No? Yeah, Alan. Right, mm -hmm. off you go, Alan. The next one. Uh, what do you get if you lie in the sun too long? Well, of course, the risk is you will get... Um, look. Um, <laughs> sunburn, of course, sunburn. You could even get sunstroke, but sunburn is literally uh, almost secondary degree burns of the skin, which can be very sore. And so really you need to use a sunblock, <laughs> as we call it. And I use a high factor sunblock to prevent uh, sunburn because it can be very painful. I wear uh, sunblock, as you call it, or sun cream every day of the year, even in autumn and winter because the rays can still affect us. I remember a few years ago, I was in a place where a girl who was very white uh, lay in the sun too long and she had a blister. A blister is like a, a piece of skin that goes up like that and it's filled with water. And she had to go to the doctor and it was very serious. Uh, so we don't realize uh, the damage that we are doing to our skin if we don't put on the sunblock, no? And also, Annie, I don't want to have wrinkles in my old age, so I don't uh, go to the beach <laughs> and I don't have any sun. Right, the last one, uh, Annie. Uh, what do we call pools of water on the ground after it has rained? It's called puddles. Poodle. Poodle or paddles? Which one is wrong? Is I right? pronounce it like the south, and Alan pronounces it like the... Uh, the no, I'm the if north and he's the south. <laughs> I say puddles. There's puddles. And Alan puddles. says it. He's, puddles. Puddles. He's more refined. Alan is puddles. more refined. So refined, oh yes. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, the, what, the, the example... <laughs> I forgot the example. Um, I, when I was uh, at school, I went to school by bicycle, and then I got to the puddle and fell down. <laughs> right. So when you used to go to school on your bicycle, you used to go through the puddles, and once <laughs> you fell down, I used to put on my Wellington boots and jump in the puddles when I was little. So, puddles can be a, a source of fun for everybody. So, then what you do is you press the button and Miss Annie can see that we got them all right. Right. So, I hope you enjoyed that, even though it was easy. Uh, it can bring back memories when you say a word or it can spark off a, an idea in your head. 
So it can be fun uh, to say vocabulary words and use them and think of things that are used to happen to you. So, Alan and Annie, let's say, toodaloo. Bye. Bye. Bye.